And while they're playing loud music next door, I wonder if you guys can hear it. But anyway, my name is Raquel, and order by or sell. You have to have the money, the beast, on your mind, in your hand. It's one of those words they don't translate correctly. It's in the apocalypse. In the Greek language, that's what they translated it in. The word is uh, karagma, and it, you, no one buys or sells without the money. Here's the definition in the Liddell Scott Greek English lexicon, and you can see that it means the impress on the coin and stamp money coin. Anyway, it's been a long time since I've been here, and hopefully. The city council will approve uh, whatever they're doing down there. They're saying here that if they cut the budget, then they're going to get sued. Well, he's kind of like a conservative, and he goes on to tell you that uh, we're running out of oil, and there's no alternative to fossil fuels, and wind energy and all that only is contributing very little right now. It'll really take a big change to uh, get going on that. Like some, you know, like they'll have to retool all the factories. It could probably be done, but they'd have to, um, you know, be like a World War II kind of a thing where the economy would have to be totally funded by the government. I mean, that's what it would really take to save this world if that's what we're going to do. I mean, otherwise, it's going to turn into like chaos. 10% of the Mexican economy comes from uh, drugs. So that's another reason why they don't want to uh, legalize drugs because then it would ruin the Mexican economy down there. Uh, Israel is, is like selling organs of dead people without their permission. Some of the Palestinians get um, arrested and killed and, and then they steal their kidneys and they can sell them for a lot of money. And, uh, so that's what that's about. And uh, well, then like these Christmas songs, like who writes these Christmas songs? And uh, it's mostly Jewish people who have written these songs. So that like that, you know, who took the Christ out of Christmas? It's like uh, Jesus Christ is the logos or logic of God, and that's like one of those words they don't translate correctly. Uh, and so like this guy Saint Paul came along and ruined it for everybody. He's got all this illogical stuff. Here's the whole problem with the Christian church today. It's this guy, St. Paul. He has all these foolish things like if you confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is risen from the dead, that you'll be saved. But here you can see that logos means logic, and these are the etymologies. And, there, and then we had uh, The War is Over by Yoko Ono again, if you want it, it says in small print here. Peace and love, Yoko Ono. It's these money changers that are causing all the problems with this interest rates and everything. Like Adolf, Adolf Hitler was against interest, <clears throat> and so he tried to, uh, um, you know, abolish interest. And Hitler wanted to send the Jews to Madagascar, but like um, then the war started. So they had to figure out something else to do. So they had a territorial solution to, uh, the, to the final solution to the Jewish problem. And what they planned to do was send them over into the Soviet Union and, uh, and to eastern Poland. So they did that and then like the Soviet Union took over half of Poland. And the whole war, I was telling you earlier, the whole war, World War II started over this stupid little corridor that Hitler wanted to have a passageway to get from East Prussia or from, yeah, to get back and forth between East Prussia and Germany. It, after World War I, Germany lost this territory here and so then there was no way to get here to there except by boat. And not only that, but this port city of Danzig was, was um, under Polish jurisdiction and they wanted to reincorporate into Germany. So that's what the whole war started about. But the point is that that Stalin <clears throat> really won World War II because half of Europe was behind the Iron Curtain then. And so young down and out in Europe. And they're showing that, that the unemployment among youth in Spain is like 42.9%. 
Let's see, zoom in a little bit. And, uh, and then the European Union average is 20%, but uh, they don't even show the United States on here. Oh, here it is. And in the last 12 months, jobless rate among workers 16 to 24 has risen to 19%. But, you know, I mean, a lot of these people have given up looking for jobs. This Monica Lewinsky thing was in the paper. I didn't, it's a big article, but I didn't really um, pay too much attention to it. The FBI accused of abusing power. They're, they were, uh, this whole thing I think was a setup. I think that Monica Lewinsky uh, was brought in there in order to frame uh, Bill Clinton. That's the way they work. Their biggest mystery is this building number seven that not too many people know about. It's like, uh, what brought this building number seven down? This is world building number seven. And the big, great big building just came down at free fall speed. And it's totally ridiculous. And then there's uh, all that dust. You see those, to those big buildings just turned into dust. And the dust was like really thick like snow all over Manhattan. But, and the only thing that was left was just these piles of girders. And uh, they had a thing on TV today about like the water problem and they were showing Lake Mead. There's only like 45 more feet before they're not gonna be able to generate any electricity anymore. They didn't tell us though in that uh, news report that they still have like, a, I don't know, a five year supply up at Lake Powell. So here's this thing about, about the oil. And, and it's starting to go up again, and you can see here, it's about $81. And, um, and then back here in February, it was less than 40 So in one year, it's doubled in price. So you figure, if it continues at that rate, then we're going to, oil's going to be $160 a barrel in another year. And so, like, if the oil goes up that much, that's just going to further ruin the economy. <laughs> so, you know, unless Obama or somebody can get America going on, you know, a real big building program to build um, solar stuff, you know, then we're really in big trouble. And uh, there's going to be, like, riots and chaos. It's going to be just like Katrina, you know, because there's not going to be any uh, National Guard. They're going to be home taking care of their own families. These states have more than 50% minority students. And not only that, but uh, they're poor minorities. So there's not, this article on CBS News was saying that we don't have enough educated people here in the United States to really make a green economy. We don't know how people are satisfied with their jobs. It's really gone down a lot. Back in uh, 87, 61% of people were satisfied with their jobs. But in 09, it's dropped down to 43%. So people aren't happy at their jobs either anymore. Like half the people in the United States, I mean more than half, you know, we've got bankers, bookkeepers, accountants, salesmen, sales crooks, all these people that aren't really producing anything, and insurance companies and things like that. and. Uh, so, and they're pushing papers, and then the people that are making all the money are these people like uh, these Wall Street people that just got to have faith, you know, or, or die. That's what I look at it. You know, I mean, you might as well die. I mean, it's like, you know, you're doing the best you can, and if God doesn't want you to, to do anything, then he might as well kill you. If we didn't have any immigrants, if, then our population would level off, and... Uh, but at the way it looks, you know, it's just going to just keep going up and crazy. And then in the world, it's like geometrically changed like this. And this is from Al Gore's earlier book. It's all faith. You've got to have faith in this money, you know, and faith in the God of, uh, of the Fed. You know, everybody seemed to think that Alan Greenspan was some kind of guru or something, and he could do no wrong. But anyway, my name is Akal. In order to buy or sell, you have to have the money of the beast on your mind, on your hand. It's one of those words they don't translate correctly. And they're always lying to us, so you can't really trust whatever they're saying to you. It's like uh, total lies. This Afghanistan thing with all the opium. Oh, anyway, God bless. Peace and love. Bye. <laughs>